I think it's fair to say your music's aggressive, right? Um, I think it's fair not to say my music is aggressive. Oh, really? Yeah. How would you describe your music then? I would describe my music as walk a fuck funny. You had a few instances of loss in your life earlier. Yeah. How does that translate into your music? Uh, or does it? I think it translates into different um, emotions in my life. I don't think it affects or makes the music. You in New York from about, till about what, fifth grade or something like that? Yeah. How much of New York did you take with you down south? The whole New York. I took the whole New York with me when I went down south. For real. How different was it making that transition? I know you were young, but how, how'd you find the world's different? That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Way different slow was it? You know what I mean? It wasn't like slow folks. It's like everybody knew it moved quick. Niggas waking up in New York, it's popping at 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the, in the morning. Nah, stop. You don't got that. Was it hard? You know, when you went down there today, not pick on you, I mean, you're a tall guy anyway, but, you know, was, was it different blending in? Yeah, the girls love you. The guys don't. Teachers love your accent back then. Hmm. That you know how it's rocking. It's same difference. You go anywhere. Like, oh, we fine. You just gotta get in where you fit in. I'm a chameleon. I can go anywhere. I, I'm adapting quick. You drop me up in Afghanistan. I can grab me a cane, wrap my head up. For real. I'm like, oh, I just can adapt. Now, when you adapt, how much of yourself is really apparent, and how much is it just fitting in with your surrounding? All of it is. Adapting, it's no fitting in, fitting in is fake. That's what sucks. All I'm jumping in, it's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm about to get it into. You work with your mom, love her. Now, how do you separate the business from the momminess? You know, easy because she a mother of Joaquin Mouthless, James Mouthless Walker, and she's a manager of Walker Flocker Flame. So I'm two people. I'm walking flock of flame. He he don't butt in the Joaquin life. You know what I'm saying? I don't let Joaquin try to be walk of flock. Cause I, you know what I mean? Did you ever have an instance where maybe those roles got confused or maybe you did something on stage or you did something in the business and your mom was like, you know better than that? Or, you know, did it ever? Yeah, I, been, I was doing before I got shot. She was saying that. Like, you're you, you, you you're doing too much. I found myself doing, like, sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, slick being slick disrespectful to my mom. Like, certain shit she'll say, I'll be saying it's too much shit on the phone. Now, a normal nigga don't say to his mother, bro. I feel like God was letting me know I'm getting beside myself, man. How, how much garbage has the business brought into your life that wasn't there before? Double the garbage. Double the, double the garbage, man. They doubled the garbage. They had more headaches, more stress, more fucking fakeness, deeper fakeness, like deep, like, like, fucking deep, deep emotional, man. They f <laughs> what's the dumbest question you ever? Asked? I mean, I'm sure people, you know, ask you silly shit all the time. But what's the dumbest thing somebody ever asked you in an interview? Sex. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, before coming down here, you know, they asked us to, you know, read your old interviews and stuff like that. And I mean, and nobody's really asking you no real shit. They're asking you, Bullshit. you know, pretty silly shit. But, you know, how do you get, I mean, not that you care. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But how do you get them to see that perhaps Waka is, like you said, a, a persona? Of Joaquin and, and and you're a person, and for them to ask you something that a person would answer. I, you know something, bro? You can't do it because a real person will ask some real shit, and a confused person go ask some, some dumb shit, like some basic shit. 
So for you to come to me with some real questions, you want some real shit. You really want to learn a person and not just talk and get some ratings and some views. You feel me? Like you're passionate about what you do. So I'm going to answer them shit with passionate questions. You give me dumb ass questions, basic questions, I'm going to give you a basic two-word answer. 